Hey everyone, over the last few months I've been playing a super flat hardcore world over on my Twitch channel, so this series will be a chill compilation of what I've been doing over there, so kick back and enjoy the video. Is it me? It is me, hello. It's been a while since I streamed in it. Oh wow, really long time. I'm gonna be playing some Minecraft today because it's been a really long time since I played some Minecraft and I've been dying to do some super flat hardcore. So let's just make a new world now. Uh, it's gonna be super flat because I guess I'm funny like that. Um, okay, I see a village over there. Why is you bobbing so high? I swear it wasn't this high like before 1.20. Anyway, hopefully we can get some good stuff in this village. Uh, I see a tree. That's fantastic already. That's like half of what we need. So my goal with this, by the way, is going to be to collect every single block that you can in hardcore and there's a lot of blocks you can collect in hardcore so it's going to be a very interesting one um i want to make farms as well i want to automate as many things as possible we can get redstone uh because there's clerics and just like overall villager trading is going to be a very big part of this right, i'm going to steal a bed it's my bed now uh, i don't want to set up anywhere near a village because all the villagers will just die in terms of like other plans for this world i don't really know because I am far from a good builder, but, and there's a but, I kind of want to build some cool shit. There we go, we've got some saplings, that should be more than enough to start a little farm. We have loot, not very useful, but I'll take it. Uh, I'll also steal the chest. Just need to find more villagers and get more loot, basically. Um, what I want is a horse, because then that means I don't have to run everywhere. Right, so I kind of want to be around here. I think this is fine, I think this is fine, because like we're far enough from the village that it doesn't actually matter. I'm gonna plant some trees. Now, because we didn't get enough loot, uh, we can't make a cobble gen yet, which is very sad. Yeah, screw it, let's just go. We have enough food for a bit. We're not going to go too far. But yeah, really want a saddle, really want a horse, um, that will make life so much easier. Because then we don't need to worry about food as much, because we're not going to be running anywhere. I, f I forget you can't like look at the corner anymore, because stupid Minecraft changed that, but yeah. Alright, do they have a blacksmith? It doesn't look like, but they look. it looks like it's a cleric? No? I, I'm blind, no. Armor, we'll take it. Uh, we're going to need these cauldrons, so that once we get lava and dripstones, we can make like a infinite lava source, uh, which is very important. Oh, it's an abandoned village. Wow. I've never seen one of these before. That's so cool. That's so cool. I would have thought I'd see loads of various animals around. Like, I for sure would have seen like a horse by now or something. Okay, I see something there. That might be our first village. Yeah, definitely is. We've take we've destroyed that house. <laughs> Okay, so to advance here then, what we need to do is do some trades, I think. Um, which is not very fun, because I hate trading villages, they're just so bad. I, I do want to like set up a mob grinder, um, but I was kind of hoping to make it more advanced than just mobs fall from high up, because that's like pretty slow. Now, look, let's look at the stars for a little bit, real quick. Um, can I see anything I recognize? I always usually tend to look for um, Cassiopeia. Because like very recognizable, it's just W in the sky. Um, points towards the Andromeda Galaxy. And then Andromeda itself, like the uh, constellation, is also quite easily recognizable. But no, I don't see anything real, unfortunately. Fake skybox. Do not blow up my string. Ooh! Yeah, but yeah, the nice thing about zombies is they just like see you from miles away. So you don't really need to go towards the hordes of mobs. There's some water over there which we wish we can go fish at for a bit. Um, but yes, very nice. I, I, I really like this uh, song. Some of the newer Minecraft music is just like really good. And this is one of my favorites, I think. All right, we've got fish. Who would have guessed? <gasps> yes, we have iron. It's only two pieces, but five pieces. Oh my god, five pieces of iron. <laughs> I've never been so excited for some iron. 
Uh, we'll, we'll figure out what to do with this later. Um, I want to go fish for some more. Why am I fishing, like, on this bit when there's, like, loads of water over there? I My brain still works on, like, the really old iron golem mechanics where you need to, like, have enough beds. <laughs> it's dumb. So dumb. Yeah, we're not getting any loot. This is very sad. I don't remember how far a golem can reach, so I'm not gonna try killing it. I'm really trying to think of what the best farm mob, mob farm design would be right now. That doesn't use too many resources, because, like, we don't have that many. Um, these trees are basically our resources. And I'm not making it out of dirt, because I'm going go brr. What, what I'm thinking of is making an etho design, but that's, like, been out of fashion for a very long time now. Also, I'm not sure if we're going to get any good rates with all these slimes spawning. We kind of want a perimeter. Which should actually be piss easy to do because we're only three blocks deep. So that that's nice at least. But that's still going to require getting us some good tools first. We got a fishing rod. <laughs> Let's go. Rainbow. Yo, that's so cool. Oh. I love it. So, 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 so. Wow, I'm actually just bad at this game, for real. We need to build up 24 blocks. Two, three, okay. So, we're built up to here now. Uh, this will actually kill us, I think, because armor doesn't take away full damage, does it? I don't think it does. So this will kill us probably if we fall, so let's not fall. Now we need to go... Oh, I'm making the etho design by the way because it's the only one I can remember off by heart. And I know it works quite good. Um, I've got that in my Let's Play world that I haven't touched in like two years now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks out. One, two, eight. Who do we appreciate? Me, of course. Now... To save on resources, we are going to make it a little hollow. And by that I mean just like leaving out one block there. Um, right, then we need to do that. That's enough for one layer. We're only going to do one layer for now because I can't be asked and I don't have enough resources. I don't even have enough resources for one layer. Being very careful here. Okay, so then we go over here and wrap around this. Water block goes there. A water block goes there as well. And all the mobs just get funneled into the center. Very, it's very nice in these design. Something we actually really want is a wandering trader right now because, well, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any emeralds. But with a wandering trader, we could potentially get some spruce saplings and then we can get a lot of wood really quick that would be nice i really i really i really hate working on on heights but it's actually why i always have a water bucket in my hotbar in case i do fall i can mlg most of the time this may be too short of a distance i may fumble my keys i think i almost certainly would fumble my keys right now right so we've got these four here and now we're going to add some more we're going to add one more here, like a platform there. Did I build this right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course I built it right. Anyway, infinite water, let's go. It's very sad that you can't get ice in the super flat world because I love ice, just carrying ice around as like portable water. I don't have anywhere near enough resources for it at the moment, but what this mob farm can do um, with the original design is you can like hook up some redstone at the back here and then put lamps into those little spots I've been leaving hollow um, and then you can turn the mob spawning on and off in this but I'm not going to be doing that because there's literally no point I don't think one layer is going to be very effective but if we can get some just stuff that's already going to be a massive help So yeah, the water goes perfectly like this. Um, the original design does actually like extend 
all the way like this. What you can do then is uh, you place the water source there, and you can have one more spawning space here, and then walls like that. You know, just free free spawn space. You know, not complaining about that. This brings back memories. I remember building this for like hours and hours on my Let's Play world. Okay, and now mobs should be able to spawn in here. And then, like, if we need to add more, we just build on this layer now. It's like you would just like start your next platform there and stuff. Um, but yeah, not right now. For right now, I'm just gonna light this up. I don't actually have enough torches. Shit. Yeah, this system should now be live. Yeah, look at that. We've got our first skeleton. Oh. Actually, I think he just actually spawned there. Like, in that block. It's a guy with armor. He was low. Um. Yeah, okay, it works. It works! Great shit. I forgot about glow squids. I am. Um, they're gonna be a problem because they're gonna block paths. But it's working. It's actually working. If we just like get a hopper over there, then we're good. We're golden. Okay, that, that's actually like working really well for only one layer. I mean, I know basically the issue is that there's slimes everywhere. If slimes weren't spawning, then that thing would just be chugging out mobs like crazy. But because there are slimes everywhere. They're kind of taking up the mob cap, which is a bit of an issue, but what can you do? We will upgrade this, because for a while that will be our main and only mob system. Until I can... Until I basically go to the end and mine up the obsidian towers to get, like, fucktons for portals and stuff to make a crazy mob farm at, like, uh, the lowest Y level. That is our main mob farm. Right, okay, um, next on the to-do list, expand that, I guess, even though I really don't want to, but I really want a second iron bucket. So, I may kind of want to kill the iron golem. I don't know why, but this Minecraft song really reminds me of Ice Age. Alright, well, we've got some more, uh, stone now. So we can make some more tools. I'm surprised I haven't seen a wandering trader yet, um... They usually come up pretty quick, don't they? But yeah, overall, this farm isn't... Look, it's not the best. It was never meant to be, like, very good. It was pretty good, like, back then. But there weren't many ways to actually, like, get mobs to walk off back then. Because this farm relies on them just pathfinding their way off into the water streams. Now... Us building this layer isn't necessarily going to double the rates or anything. It's not quite how the spawning algorithm works. But it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt us. Right, let's make a separate uh, tree farm. Let's do it over here. I remember the first time I tried to like do a hardcore or just like a super flat uh, series was on my laptop and I tried to stream it. My laptop could not encode anything. That was like my old laptop by the way. Um, if you are familiar with my YouTube channel, you'll probably remember some of the older days, like much, much older. Just barely, just barely enough, but nice, very good. So yeah, as I said, I'm not expecting this to be twice as fast because it actually does get worse the higher up you go. And we'll decrease the rates like for everything below that as well. I'm not getting anything right now, but there's probably just too many, too many slimes filling up my mob cap. Um, and the only way to like get rid of the slimes is to make a perimeter and have them not be able to spawn anywhere. I'm really surprised there's no wandering trader yet. This cat has wandered all the way over here. Um, I've never tamed a cat, nor do I care for. For doing so, but oh fuck it, I can outrun the cat. There we go. Come on, 
You're mine now. Kins care creepers away from me. What we want is a carrot farm because we can then trade carrots with the village over there. So let's go do that. Anyway, how do you make fences even? Is it still a normal recipe? Nope. Yeah. Okay, and then we just go ham with the hoe. So this is this here is just for carrots. So we can trade with villagers. So yeah, for now we just we make this just potatoes. And that's like our food. Yeah, this thing's really working over here. I didn't build it too far, did I? No, that's not 128 blocks. It should, it should, this should be close enough. I don't know um, why it's a little bit s slow while I'm over there. That is nowhere near 128 blocks away. I don't want to know. I kind of want to know. So, like, if we're on average, we're like over here. So, okay, 88 block distance, yeah. Um, and then going up, we went up 24, and then plus, let's just say plus 12. So, Pythagoras go brr. Still only 90 blocks, like, distance. Uh, uh, that's plenty far. They're not, they're not despawning. So, I don't know. That's just something weird. Maybe, maybe it's because all the items just despawn, and I'm, like, not there quick enough or something. I don't know. Weird things. It seems to be doing its thing now, right? So, it's fine. It's fine. How many more layers should we add? How many more layers should we add, guys? Um, make it five layers, maybe? I think that should be probably enough, right? Yeah, five layers in total will be enough. I'm gonna say you need, yeah, five stacks of logs per layer. So we need 15 stacks of logs. That's what we'll focus on in the next stream is just finishing that off and getting ourselves a good iron farm going because that's gonna be very important. And once we have an iron system, we, we should be pretty set because when then we can use uh, the iron for villager trades, so like get emeralds, and then we can use those emeralds. Things are gonna pick up. Things are gonna pick up. I believe. I believe. Being it's been good. It's been good. I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed doing this. I've been looking forward to this for like a couple of weeks now. Um, mostly in the last week is when I had the idea. But like, I've been. I've been looking forward to like getting back to streaming and doing some Minecraft and stuff. So it's, it's nice. It's nice to be back. It's been a long time. I've been very busy this term. But uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye.